Hey guys, we got a great show for you today. I, I can't wait to get going. The ship is in. <laughs> it is in. <laughs> we've, been, we've been trying to get that ship, this ship into port for a while, but we did it. We, we did, did it. man. I tell you what, guys, we're going to have so much fun today. Um, this cat is somebody I've admired from afar, and now I get to do it from close. I've actually kind of got, gotten to know Mike Shipley a little bit recently, and you guys are going to have a blast. He's, he's truly a great, a legend. My brain is sitting here thinking as an engineer, it must have been an absolute pleasure for you to do Allison Krauss, where you had total control. You could be Mutt Lang when you wanted to, and you could be Mike Shipley. Uh, you won. You won the Grammy for Best Engineered Record. I know. That's crazy. And, uh, and congratulations. So, so what it, a great it, record to win for. As right? I said to them, I hadn't en hadn't engineered a record in 15 years or something. It's like, are you sure you want me to do this? So, but you won the Grammy for that. Yeah. Man. That's yeah. incredible. Okay. I don't think people understand what what a talent you have. In terms mm. This would be a good time to to, to go into my cable thing because. The, F, the FM version of the 192, you took a 192, which was, in, I'm guessing in your opinion, adequate, but then you took it to the next level. You had it highly modified, and then you were using, is it true you were using gold and silver cables to get in and out? Yeah, well, this again, the, the, um, the modification black, uh, again came black, from, from, black, from a, black Lion. Black the mod, Lion, The mod, yeah. modification idea came from Mutt because he, he tracks up so many tracks of, vocal, of, of, of instruments. You, have a, you can have a 400 track count easily. Mm. And... You know, he got very sick of the pinched sound of what digital can be. So it was his idea to get Danny McKinney um, involved both with the cable thing and with the uh, modifying the, the uh, converters. Uh, and the clock, too. And the clock, absolutely. And uh, when you ask about the mic cable and the power cable thing... Oh, yeah, the cable was for the mic. That's what it was. It wasn't... It's for... actually for both. Oh, it it's was? It's power cables and it's mic cables. And, I've, you know, this is a really tough subject to talk about, and it gets gets to be a very personal opinion, but um, uh, and the best per but if you really want to get an answer out of this, you should get someone like Danny McKinney on this program because he can explain it to you in a way, in layman's terms, mm -hmm. that no one else can that makes total sense. But the, all, all, all I know is that with Alison, for example, um, uh, she likes a certain kind of microphone. She likes the C800B, I think it is, the, the, uh, and Danny had modified, had built a mic cable for us to use, so we had, were able to A-B it. You know, he'd, he'd, uh, he's very much into this gold and silver Are we talking cable. like night and day, or have to really strain to hear it, or use no. headphones to hear it? It was night and day? Night and day. Like wow. like like a thousand dollars worth of night and day, or a hundred dollars worth of night and day? A hundred thousand dollars worth of night and day. No crap. To me. You, know, you hear that, GI? Yes, I do. I'm it, sorry. It, 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 I mean, you know, I mean, I've read all the forums, and I know everyone's got an opinion, and they all hide behind their monikers, sure. and everyone's got something to say. <laughs> so true. And, and all I know is that, for me, changing the mic cable, and for Allison, and for everybody else, mm -hmm. of getting Danny's mic cable, um, and plugging that into the same microphone, and having the, all of a sudden the top end open into something else that was not there before, uh, That's a significant a, a, difference. Yeah. A, a very significant difference. Not, not, not subtle. Right, not at all. Let me ask Major. you a philosophical question because I think I know the answer. But um, I'm guessing that, that there are some similarities to the way you and I work. And a lot of times um, when we approach a sound, we don't listen to it for what it is but what it can be. And sure. so when you replace a, a mic cable with a gold, it's not that you're trying to do anything else but get it to ultimately realize the perfection of that sound that you heard in your head. Sometimes you can do it by EQing, sometimes you can do it by compressing well, that's around right. as the problem. As soon as you hear the sound, you know what you want it to be. Exactly. And as soon as I replace the and cable... So it matched that in your head as... Well, as, the EQ button came out, didn't need any EQ. It was that much. Yeah. Wow. That's sounds... Just needed to do a bit of filtering, you know, filtering out some of the uh, bottom, extreme bottom end and then it was like, whoa. This wow. Is a, you might have to raise my rate, Herm. <laughs> I was just making that note. And, yeah. and, and, and it's a totally, you know, everyone's got an opinion about yeah. that and say, so how, how can a power that comes in to a socket make a difference, make a difference if, you, if you shield it three ways and bring it out? Right. Plus it's being rectified into DC and all kinds of things. Yeah, yeah. 